With that being said, I take full responsibility for the mistake I have made, shoplifting. I know that this goes beyond me letting my school down, but I've let the entire country down. Before, before I thank everybody who worked so incredibly hard to help us return home safely, I want to thank the Chinese police and the government for taking care of us and treating us well during our time there. To President Trump and the United States government, thank you for taking the time to intervene on our behalf. We really appreciate you helping us out. Thank you to all the PAC-12 representatives for all of your time and support. Thank you, Dan Guerrero, for sticking by our sides and doing whatever you could to help us through this. Thank you, Chris Carlson, for taking the time out of your skin there for us throughout the process. You guys mean so much to me. To Coach Alfred, Coach Tyus, Coach Roussard, Coach Grace, thank you for all of your support. You guys have always believed in me, not only as a basketball player, but also as a person. I'm sorry for letting you down. Lastly, to my family, my mom, my mom and dad, you guys have raised me to be smart and always make the right choices. You never left my side, and it hurts me the most that I disappointed and embarrassed you. To my younger brother, Ben, this is not the example that I want to set for you. But from here on out, I promise that I will be the best role model I can be to look up, for you to look up to. I've been looking forward to being the UCLA Bruins since I was young. The alumni here have set such a high standard for both academically and athletically. And as a UCLA student athlete, I'm disappointed in myself that I failed to live up to that. I can only hope that my actions, my words, my hard work in the weeks to come will prove to my coaches, my teammates, and our fans that I am more capable of meeting that high standard. Away from the court, <clears throat> I will work especially hard in the classroom to show that I can be an outstanding representative of this incredible university, a place that is so, port so important to many people around the world. Again, thank you to everybody who has been there and expressed concern for me and my safety this past week. I can assure you that I will never do anything again to jeopardize UCLA's reputation and as my own. Go Bruins. Thank you. I'd like to start off by saying sorry for stealing from the stores in China. Uh, I didn't exercise my best judgment, and I was wrong for that. I apologize to my family, my coaches, my teammates, and UCLA for letting so many people down. I also apologize to the people of China for causing them so much trouble. I'm a young man, however, it's not an excuse for making a really stupid decision. I don't feel sorry for myself, and I've learned my lesson from this big mistake, and I'm 110% sure that I'll not make a bad decision like this one again. i also like everyone to know that this does not who define who I am. My family raised me better than that, and I'm going to make myself a better person from here on out. I have the utmost respect for the Chinese police department as well, and I'd like to thank them for treating me so respectfully, even after I made a stupid decision. Uh, I'd like to thank Chris Carlson and Doug Erickson for staying with us and just helping us out while we were in China <clears throat> and taking care of us. I'm grateful for this UCLA team that stood strong beside us and made it possible for me to be sitting here in front of you all today. I respect and admire all the hard work that they put in to get us back to the United States. I would also like to thank President Trump and the United States government for the help that they provided as well. I'm grateful to be back home, and I'll never make a mistake like this again. I'm extremely sorry for those who I let down, but I'm also very thankful for all the help, love, and support that they provided. And I take full responsibility for my actions, and I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Angelo. Next up, we have Jalen Hill. First off, I would like to apologize to um, all the fans who support UCLA, because I feel like my actions have hurt them the most. 
hurts me because I can see the pain that I cause them. I apologize to my teammates, my coaches, and my family because of how much negative attention that I put on them that they do not deserve. I'm sorry for shoplifting. What I did was stupid. There's just no other way to put it, and I'm not that type of person. I hope that this mistake will not define me as a person, but it shows that I have messed up and can learn from it. I don't want to be known for this dumb mistake. I want to be known for my respectfulness and my love and passion for the game of basketball. This event has taught me a lot, and it has changed me in a way that I can't explain. I have so much more respect for the people around me, from our coaches and staff to the fans who live for UCLA. I have also strengthened my relationship with God throughout this time. Without him, I would be nothing. To all the fans out there watching, I hope that you can forgive me. I hope that you can forgive my stupid childish actions. I have learned my lesson, and I hope that I can earn back the love and support that our passionate fans bring to this program. I would like to thank everyone involved in this whole ordeal. Thank you to Chris, Doug, Gloria, and Jerry for staying with us the whole time. Thank you to the police department, which treated us very well. Thank you to the Pac-12 and the whole UCLA community that helped us the whole way. And thank you to the United States government and President Trump for your efforts to bring us home.